Our efforts have not gone unnoticed. Our giving institutions and bodies have been recognizing our efforts in different dimensions. Just recently, we have been confirmed by the Asian Institute of Management, the GPC and the USAID, three special awards in the Philippines City's Competitive Ranking, the Best Entrepreneurs Award for Honesty and Transparency in its Dealings, the Special Award on Documentation, and the Special Award on Disaster Preparedness. So, this is more or less a glimpse of Sambuanga City, and I'm sure you will say, well, when will it end? I will go back to blogging. <laughs> One thing that makes blogging so interesting is that it allows freedom of expression. One can speak his mind about things that affect him, either positively or even negatively. In a democratic country like ours, this is a freedom worth defending. However, some people do not realize that with freedom comes responsibility. One cannot have freedom without the responsibility. While we have the ability to make a choice and to act on it, we must first consider how such an act would affect us and the people around us. Last Friday, a very unfortunate thing happened in Sambuanga City in one of our public schools where an ex-convict went on a stabbing spree and in the process killed three people and wounded six others. As if that was not enough for a traumatizing experience, one perhaps I would call irresponsible. An inconsiderate person posted a video of the said ex-convict in the dying stage. Bizarrely enough, the video went viral enough to earn a spot in national TV news. This leads me to question the person's reason for uploading the video online. What did he intend to gain from posting that? Did he find deeper meaning? In his action? Did he ever think of what anguish that video would bring to the families of the victims? And even the say, I think not. A blog must encourage interactivity. Do not self-censor by removing posts or comments that do not support your ideas. A blog more or less focuses on a central subject. And as with other things that we regularly do, there is a purpose and a reason for starting a blog. It is to educate, to promote, to entertain, to inspire, to inform, and certainly not to force one's thoughts down on everybody's throat. That said, bloggers should welcome comments regardless of whether or not they support the ideas being advocated by the blogger. Just as you have the right to freely express your thoughts on just about anything, your subscribers and occasional lurkers also have the right to their opinions. When they do not agree with yours, you should still allow for a healthy discussion with each other, defending their stance, making sure that the discussions remain wholesome and the readers do not leave discriminatory or hostile comments against anyone. Never censor people who make sound and sensible arguments just because they disagree with you. Do not threaten to block them out from your sight because doing, by doing so, you would be curtailing the same rights that you are allowed to express. 
Lastly, ethics dictate that you make sure that your blogs contain factual information. Do not publish inaccurate information, or if you must, at least make it clear that it is in doubt. Never intentionally mislead your readers, for in this day and age when public perception can be the biggest obstacle to what we have to hurdle, accurate, factual, balanced information should be dished out. Most importantly, exercise sensitivity and sensibility. In closing, I wish you all the success in this summit, and I know that there are many other issues and concerns that you will be discussing in this assembly, and I hope that my, my sharing with you this morning would have helped make this summit more successful. Otra vez, muchas gracias.